The nuclear meltdown in Japan has, uh, uh, last year that is, may have had political effects on the other side of the globe. Soon after the seriousness of the situation at Fukushima became known, Germany decided to phase out nuclear power. A film in that country also seems to have played a part. It's now being shown in Japan, and NHK World's Yuko Aotani spoke with the director. The documentary carries an ambitious title, The Fourth Revolution, Energy Autonomy. It shows communities around the world making the transition from fossil fuels and nuclear power to renewable energy sources. The film itself advocates moving from corporate-owned centralized power systems toward decentralized electricity generation. In this arrangement, communities produce energy on a smaller scale, with the latitude to invest in natural sources suited to the local climate. They also then have the ability to control the process. A world that generates electricity from renewables is the fourth revolution that the title alludes to, following the agricultural, industrial and digital revolutions. To get the film made, director and journalist Karl Fechner raised funds from companies, non-government organizations and individuals who support its point of view. The process extended over four years. So Mr. Fechner, what motivated you to make this documentary? There was this film, uh, An Unconvenient Truth, where we saw this was a very important subject, very important film too, but he, they only showed the problems. People know very much more about the problems than about the solutions. And the solution and the answer to that is uh, that we can start in a, to change a system from a centralized system to a decentralized system of producing uh, energy by renewable energies. How realistic do you think is to create a world 100% of renewable energy? It is very realistic to create a world of 100% of renewable energy. The question is, are people strong enough really to, to realize this change? Yeah? Because you see, there are lots of people against this change to 100% uh, of renewable energy. So, and those are very, very, very powerful people. The Fourth Revolution was released in 2010 in Germany. Through word of mouth, it became the most watched documentary in the country that year. The nuclear accident in Fukushima last March made the movie's message all the more provocative. The German audience grew both in size and in support. German public television aired the film in May as voices calling for a withdrawal from nuclear power grew louder. More than two million people tuned in. The government decided to take action. A month later, the legislature voted to shut all 17 of the country's nuclear reactors by 2022. We will completely abandon nuclear power step by step by the end of 2022. Last year, German dis uh, Germany decided to phase out nuclear power. Do you think your film actually accelerated that decision? It has influenced uh, very, very many people in, in Germany. It, it, is, uh, it was something of, uh, of, a, an, of an importance. Yeah? Um, suddenly, uh, even Angela Merkel, the Bundeskanzler, uh, spoke about a revolution. <laughs> yeah? The world is a different place since first you created the film. Do you think there's a role of your documentary has changed since last March? The people's view to this subject has changed, definitely, but more in the direction that it is very much more important to, to leave uh, nuclear power and uh, finally to to, to, to change the system of, of uh, producing energy in a way of taking the uh, renewable energies. So the accident of Fukushima can happen everywhere. So, so that's why people now, lots of, the majority of, of German to population uh, society uh, says, now it's time to change. All changes are starting in the, in, in the people uh, themselves. So it is always starting in the heart, I'm very sure. And then it goes in the head, and then it goes into the feed, and subject it goes into the feast. It's very important too.